In the previous couple of lessons, we have done a variance chart using first bar graph. You can see this, and I will put a link to my uh, previous lessons in the descriptions. And we use the error bar, which gives you this type of graph. Now I'm going to show you how to take this one and transform it to this, which is an arrow graph. And I don't know which one looks better. For me, personally, I like the second one. So let's do it. We go here and we have our second graph. And what we will do, we will first ungroup because we have grouped in the previous lesson the two graphs. So we're going to ungroup. So I just clicked on it, right click and then ungroup. Next, I'm going to add an arrow to those lines. So I click on them. If this is not open, you just click on them, then you right click and you do format error bars. Then you select the bucket and you're going to say begin arrow type and select this arrow. You will do the same for the negative value. So you select the negative value, you select the bucket. Here I selected the, the dots, so I have to select well the error bars. Then I select the bucket and then I do begin arrow. And as you can see, I get my arrows. Next, I want to get rid of this uh, axis. So I select my axis, I press delete on the keyboard and the axis is gone. And then I can resize if I want to, I can bring this closer and then I can regroup my chart. So I press control, I keep control pressed. I select my first chart. I select my second chart. I go to the border. I right click and then I say group, group. And as you can see, if I change my chart size, everything will resize automatically. So which one is the best? You will let me know. If you want to check my other lessons to learn how I made this other two graphs, please do 